chance to build cathedrals, entire cities, things that never existed, things that couldn't exist in the real world. Hello everyone, Dr. Stavros Halvatsis here. Welcome to another episode of Get Writing, where we unravel the mysteries of great storytelling. What is a metaphor and how can we use it to deepen, elevate and electrify our stories? Let's jump right in. Let's first remind ourselves that traditionally metaphors draw comparisons between two unrelated things, suggesting that they are alike in some way. Metaphors are efficient ways to communicate complex ideas and emotions through powerful imagery. For example, his a damp squib means that he is a disappointment, fails to live up to expectations, and not that he is an actual damp firecracker. The essential thing to understand is that metaphors transfer characteristics from one thing to another, suggesting that both are alike in some way. Like symbols, metaphors make objects, actions and events luminous. They make them glow, as it were, with a significance that breaks through the denotative boundaries of the original. But Unlike a symbol which stands alone, a metaphor is paired with the item it is juxtaposed against. Here's how metaphors function in the film Inception. Perhaps the most striking is the concept of Inception itself, the planting of an idea in someone's mind. Once an idea has taken hold of the brain, it's almost impossible to eradicate. An idea that is fully formed, fully understood, that sticks. In the film, it is elevated to a literal and bizarre level. The idea of planting a seed that grows and takes root mirrors how metaphors can be subtly introduced and bloom in your story. Just as Cobb and his team design intricate dream worlds, writers craft metaphors that transport readers into alternative realities where themes and emotions come alive. Mal, Cobb's dead wife, now a haunting psychological projection, is not only an indication of his state of mind, she is also a metaphor for his guilt and unresolved past. Mal is a spectre from his suppressed memories, much like how our inner demons and unresolved issues haunt us in real life. In many ways, this projection has turned Cobb's world upside down a metaphor that is visually expressed in the film through the inverting buildings and streets. Layered dreams themselves are generators of symbols and metaphors highlighting the complexity of the human mind. They expose how thoughts and emotions can interweave, much like metaphors provide layered meaning in a story. The dizzying chase, for example, is not just exciting action, it is metaphorical drama. The heights are visual metaphors for the challenges and obstacles we face in real life. The chase represents the drive to solve our inner problems. And how can we forget the iconic spinning top? Yes, the top is a tool used in the story to indicate to Cobb whether he is dreaming or awake. If the top continues to spin, he is dreaming. But if the top obeys the laws of physics and tips over, he is awake. But the top is also a metaphor for reality's uncertainty, an idea that lingers in our minds long after the film ends, much like a well-crafted metaphor lingers in our readers' and audiences' thoughts. Inception, then, serves as a brilliant example of how metaphors can be seamlessly woven into a story's fabric, how they allow the writer to challenge perceptions, generate fresh insights between seemingly unrelated things, and create new and lasting luminous impressions that effervesce beyond the literal meaning of the plot. To sum it all up then, a metaphor makes a comparison between two seemingly unrelated things, generating new meaning as a result of a juxtaposition. Well, that's it for now. If you learned something from this video, consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons, turning on the notification bell and leaving a comment to share your thoughts and to help the channel grow. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.